welcome or welcome back to my channel. I realized I never filmed an intro for this video, so I'm doing that now, even though I'm kind of knee deep into the series. This is a Throne of Glass reading vlog. I, yeah, like I said, I'm kind of knee deep into the series. I'm about to start the tandem read, so I'm almost done. And I have been like vlogging my experience reading it, but I never filmed an intro, so I'm doing that now. I read Throne of Glass, or not Throne of Glass, I read Assassin's Blade in a different video, so if you want to see kind of my reaction to that, you can watch that video. I will say it has been a whirlwind getting here, but we are here, and yeah, so that is all I have to say. I hope you guys like this video, and yeah, just strap in and get ready for a wild ride. to take my access to the internet while reading away from me because I am unable to not look up spoilers for myself and now I have hurt myself in the process but I think that all will be okay I think I I did this when I was reading Akatar too and I came to accept the outcome because I at first I couldn't like I couldn't fathom why what happened happened, but then I accepted it later on. And so I'm thinking this is a similar situation, though I don't think, I don't know. I'm not expecting there to be like a huge betrayal by any means, but yeah, someone needs to take my access to the internet away from me when I am reading because I keep spoiling things for myself. And though I don't think this is an insane spoiler that like, will ruin my reading experience um, because I don't know like how it happens or how everything's uncovered, but I just need to stop doing it because I am completely, what's the word? I have no self-control when it comes to looking up spoilers. I can only hold off for so long. That's my update. I'm on I'm reading Crown of Midnight right now. I need to stop. That's what I need to do because it's actually getting out of hand how often I'm looking at spoilers. Okay, that's not true. I'm not like consistently looking at spoilers. Sorry, I'm pacing because that's what I do when I'm antsy. But I don't know. I just need, I need to stop looking at spoilers. Even the like few that I do look up, I need to just stop because why am I doing that to myself? Just read the dang books. I'm just impatient and I don't like when things happen differently from the way that I want them to. But you know what? That's life. And people love this series for a reason, so I just need to keep reading and I'm sure I will love it equally as much. But... <laughs> Just figured I would give that update. This is how I felt reading the first Akatar book too though. And so I'm really just banking on that, that the new characters that I meet are gonna be even better than the ones that I know now. And yeah, I'm just hoping that that's the case so that I can, I don't know, not feel this way anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna make some food and keep reading because I'm incapable of stopping also how to do it again and then I stop myself and I'm making this video to hold myself accountable that I can't do it again so I will not look up any more spoilers okay I promise Currently on my way into Barnes & Noble to buy air of fire for my future self so that when I come home on a red eye on Monday I don't have to drive here to buy it is a man watching me because I know I'm gonna finish it before then so that's what we're doing I'm so sad they didn't have it I thought that maybe I was just ambitious and like knew thought I knew where it was and really didn't but no they just simply didn't have it so now I'm gonna have to go to Barnes on Monday to get it at a different one be so serious right now what is happening shaking right now. Bro, what? <laughs> I'm literally, I'm so stressed right now. I don't even know what's happening.
Dripped Barnes. After finishing Crown at Midnight, I don't know how people stop to read the prequel, to read Assassin's Blade. People are like, oh yeah, there's kind of like, or Crown of Midnight ends at like a good spot where you could like stop and then read Assassin's Blade and keep going. I don't know in what world I would want to stop now in order to read Assassin's Blade. There isn't one. I am now even more happy. I was already happy that I chose to read Assassin's Blade first, but now I'm even more content and I still can't imagine having read both Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight without having read Assassin's Blade. Like knowing the backstory just makes it so much better. And it honestly just makes, I don't know, makes it easier to understand and like it just makes sense. Like I don't know why I would stop and read Assassin's Blade. It just doesn't make sense to me. It makes sense to know what happens and to just get it out of the way. So I feel very strongly about starting the series with Assassin's Blade. People are probably gonna hate that opinion and think it's wrong, but I honestly don't understand how you could have a strong opinion any other way than reading Assassin's Blade first. Like I truly don't know how people could be like, you absolutely should not read Assassin's Blade first and read it third or fourth, whatever. I genuinely don't know how people could think that. <laughs> like it literally only makes sense in my brain to have read it first and to read it first. And I would fight for that like opinion. I don't know how there could be any other opinion. <laughs> So I may have potentially just bought the entire series or the rest of what I was missing while I was at Barnes because knowing me, I was just going to buy the next like two books and I was going to finish them and then just drive right back to Barnes to buy the next one. So I was like, why not just not do that and buy them all at once? You guys, I love when like, you know, they go an entire series not trusting each other. And then, like, a switch flips, and it's life or death, and, like, their dynamic just clicks, and they work perfectly together. It is the best thing ever, and oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> anyway, that's my update. I'm gonna finish this now. All of the enemies are becoming allies, <laughs> and it's great. <laughs> I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be left on a cliffhanger. <laughs> mm, I hate the world. The time has come. <laughs> Here are my prepped books. Don't they look great? I really went above and beyond, I think. Um. Yeah, I'm nervous. to happen in these books they get interrupted by something and it's making me so angry because I only have so much patience only so much anyway that's my update so I earlier in the day I was probably like halfway through the tandem read I guess I can get my little sheet out I am currently like a third or no three-fifths of the way through the tandem read I only have this much left I just got through like the meat of Empire of Storms I guess it's maybe not the meat but like the section where you just have like a hundred or like 200 pages of Empire of Storms to read and I am very pleased with how it's all happening I 
I don't know. I just, I like when they're all together in the books. And even though Kale's obviously not there, I, I don't know. I just love when they're all together and I hate when they're separated. And so I think that part was fun because all of them are together again. At, whereas at like at the beginning of Empire of Storms, they're still kind of like in different places. And yeah, I just like seeing them interact with each other. But yeah, so I only have a little bit left. I mean, obviously not a little bit left. There's still a heck, like a decent chunk of both of the books left. But I'm excited to see where it goes. I've heard that Empire of Storms leaves you on like a big cliffhanger. And so I'm curious to see what that is. Um, but then... Tower of Dawn I don't really know what to expect from it I honestly couldn't tell you the last thing that happened when I was reading um yeah I'm excited I kind of hope that at the end of Tower of Dawn they're all reunited again like Kale is reunited with them and I want to see where that storyline kind of goes because I don't want to, like, say anything without spoiling, but there are just, like, characters that we meet in Tower of Dawn that have history with some other characters in Empire of Storms, and so I'm curious if they are going to cross paths at all. I keep saying that Throne of Glass isn't at all what I expected it to be, but I don't know. I say that, but I don't know what I expected. I, f I don't know. I just, I don't know what I expected when I started this series, but it wasn't this. And I keep saying that, but I don't have, like, anything to, like, justify my thoughts. I understand the appeal of the tandem read because Empire of Storms is, like, a much slower-paced story, um, obviously, because it's only following, like, one character, whereas this one's following kind of everyone else that we meet. Um, so I understand how it might be hard coming off of reading Empire of Storms and reading Tower of Dawn next if you don't do the tandem read. Like, I could understand how it might take a while to get through Tower of Dawn because it's just slow. And I don't know if it picks up, like, later in the story. Um, but I feel like I'm already halfway through and it is relatively, like, I don't want to say slow, but, like, there's just less going on in Tower of Dawn than there is in Empire of Storms, and there's obviously less characters, so there's less, like, storyline to follow. So, as for whether I think the tandem read is worth it, um, I don't want to speak too soon because I'm not finished with, I'm not finished with it, but at least as of right now, I feel like it is worth it just because, like, I feel like you do get a nice balance between action and kind of, like, slower pace. But also, I feel like the way that at least this, like, reading guide is set up is nicely split up. Where it's, like, you get... It stops you at, like, good points throughout all of the stories. I just thought I would give an update because I feel like I haven't updated in a while. I wanted to look up, like, fan art just to, like see what the characters look like but I've avoided it so far because I don't want to see any spoilers and I've been tempted to look up certain things but I have stopped myself because I'm so close to the end that I just I can't risk spoiling anything for me at this point because I've gotten so far and like I feel like at the beginning of the series when I did that feels like so long ago already but when I did like look up those like small spoilers I don't know I just feel like now it would feel so much more I would feel it so much more if I learned something that I didn't want to learn that is all I have to say right now for an update I will see you guys maybe before I finish the tandem read or else I will see you guys with an update once I am finished with it guys i have like maybe 200 pages left between both tower of dawn and empire of storms so i'm nearing the end 
and I just have to say I'm so scared. I have no idea what to expect and nobody has died yet. I don't think I don't think that's a spoiler. I don't know. I'm just scared because I, I'm scared to find out what's gonna happen. <laughs> like I, I don't want to lose any of these characters and I fear that they're not all gonna make it out of this <laughs> alive. And I'm terrified to find out who that is. I'm literally terrified and I've heard that Kingdom of Ash is a great book, but I've also heard that it is heartbreaking. So to say I'm terrified would be an understatement and I have so little left of these books that I genuinely don't know what to expect. So that's my update. I'm almost done with both of them. And I'm like, I'm at a weird point where it's like, I don't want to keep reading because I'm stressed and anxious about it, but I also like can't stop reading because I just want to finish them. So I don't know. I'll keep you updated though. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know what's about to happen, but I'm so scared. <sighs> oh no, Kingdom of Ash is gonna suck. <sighs> Bro, oh no, he found them. I'm not giving any context for who, who found, but... <laughs> Oh my god, the emotional roller coaster that I have been on reading this book. I'm so scared for Kingdom of Ash. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna finish. Well, guys, I finished the tandem read. I finished it a while ago. It is currently 7 o'clock. I finished at probably like 2. Um, and I just needed a minute to process things. A lot of this series has been me being like, oh, I can't wait for them to just be together. But, um, they keep getting separated. And that is not, um, an exception in, at the end of this. Or at the end of these books. It's like, they're almost back together again. And then something just swoops in and happens. Anyway, I gave Empire of Storms a five star. Um, I actually really liked it. I really liked the end, despite what happens. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to see where that leads. But also, thank God I read the tandem read, because I don't think I could have been left... I don't think I could have read all of Tower of Dawn having known what happened in Empire of Storms. So, bless whoever came up with the tandem read because that saved me. Um, I also did give Tower of Dawn a five star. I was debating giving it a lower rating, but I think that reading it with Empire of Storms helped its rating because, again, I think I would have liked it less if I had to like go from Empire of Storms to Tower of Dawn. So... Reading them together, I think, helped Tower of Dawn's rating. But yeah, I keep saying this, but I'm terrified to see what happens in Kingdom of Ash. I was reading the back of it, and it talks about how months go by. And that's just weird to me, because I feel like the threat of, like, war felt so imminent in these books, like... It was just around the corner and I mean we were getting like glimpses of like battles in Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn and so like the fact that the back of the book says that months go by is just weird to me because I feel like the war is like happening already like it's starting and so I don't know I'm pretty much speaking out of like ignorance because I really don't know what happens so I don't I have no like foot to stand on like I don't have any there's no like 
credibility behind what I'm saying. So I could just be speaking like nonsense right now. Or I was just like reading the end of Tower of Dawn and like characters that I didn't think that I cared about, things were happening to them and I like cared and I was like, oh, so this is going to hurt even more in Kingdom of Ash because like, I don't know, you can't go through an entire war and not have casualties and so I'm just like sitting here like trying to think about who's going to die and it's hurting my soul because I don't want anyone to die but I don't know like I think I'll be sad no matter who dies and someone has to die like I've heard I've not only heard that it's heartbreaking but also like it's war like I would it'd be so unrealistic if no one died at least no one in like the inner circle if you're contemplating doing the tandem read I recommend it um, unless you're not, like, heavily affected by, like, cliffhangers. But, yeah. I'm gonna... I say but yeah so much. Whenever I'm editing, the amount of but yeahs I cut out of videos is insane. And I don't even do it, like, consciously. It's 100% subconscious, but... I'm gonna see you again. I will see you guys when I start Kingdom of Ash. Whenever that may be. I should be going to sleep but i didn't expect to be crying so early on <laughs> in this book i mean i guess i'm not like super early i'm almost 300 pages in but <sighs> wow that was sad <laughs> okay i'm gonna keep reading even though i should go to sleep <sighs> what is sleep even anyway i'll be back maybe goodbye Hey guys, I am back with an update on Kingdom of Ash. I think I am, I just got to the, like, no, I'm a little over halfway. I think I'm like 600 pages in and I have cried twice already or okay, I've really only cried once. I would have cried a second time, but there was a lot of like things going on like around me so I couldn't cry but I would have if I was like alone reading. I am about halfway through and I'm still scared. It's really good. I really like it but I'm still scared about what's gonna happen because nobody has died yet and I'm so scared. It's really good though. I think that like the amount of action that there is going on is good. It's just kind of sad because there's so many characters. There's so many, like, different points of views that you get. And since, like, they're all in different spots, it's just, like, I'm reading one part and I get really into it. And then it cuts off and then it goes to a ne new character's point of view and they're in a completely different location. Which, like, I don't know, then I get invested in that. And then, like, it's just, like, an ongoing thing. Um... So yeah, there's also something going on right now that I'm kind of just like confused by. I don't really know what like, not the purpose, but I don't know what the character's intentions are necessarily. I still don't know what to expect at all. But I'll get back to you when I have more reactions, probably.
she does just so well. This tarot is making me cry. I didn't even like that. <laughs> pages left I think There might still be tear streaks down my face. Um, I don't think I've cried that much ever reading a book. That dug up some emotions in me for sure. Oh, I'm like fresh off of finishing Kingdom of Ash and that book made like the entire series worth it. I know people get so annoyed when like books aren't worth it or like series aren't worth it if they don't start getting good into like the four, third or fourth whatever book but like all of the books were good I think Kingdom of Ash was just like the perfect finale like the perfect final book I don't know there's so much happened in that book that I just I don't know I have like no words to explain how much I loved that book none it was so good and every character like just made that book and just like all of them were so crucial to the plot that it's like I don't know like it didn't even feel like a thousand pages and that's what's crazy to me because I have never read a book that long in my life like the longest book that I've read before Kingdom of Ash was I think Silver Flames which is like 800 pages so it's long but like the thing is, like, Kingdom of Ash didn't even feel long. Like, I feel like once I got into it, a hundred pages would just go by so quickly. And it just, like, I don't know, so much happened in that book that I can't even, like, begin to explain how much I loved it. So, like, a little bit around a month, it took me to read the whole series, and I don't regret it whatsoever. I stand by what I said about it not being what I expected but I don't think that's a bad thing like I 
it like exceeded my expectations and it's just the way like the character development throughout the entire series was crazy and just like the way that I grew attached to so many characters that I didn't even think that I liked or like characters that I didn't like making me literally like sob it was just like it was crazy to see and it was just so like fun to see everything come full circle and everything like connect by the end of it but yeah it was so good and I, I don't know I I need a break before I read Crescent City I don't think because I I don't know I don't know what to expect going into Crescent City at all I I really liked it and I honestly I don't even know what else to say aside from that I feel like my reactions throughout reading it are the most honest and like the best description of how I felt while reading this series so I think I'll just leave it at that but yeah this is definitely not an overhyped series at least in my opinion I agree with all of the raving reviews about it and I'm kind of mad at myself for putting it off as long as I did but I'm happy that I read it in the end and I'm happy that I forced myself to start um, Assassin's Blade because I don't know how much longer I would have put off reading this series if I hadn't done that to myself but yeah I think it changed the trajectory of my I don't want to say life that sounds dramatic but just like my reading career and I'm definitely not gonna like forget this series at all in the near future just like I haven't forgotten Akatar. I I don't know which I liked better. I don't know if I could choose because, like I said, Kingdom of Ash really, like, did it for me. But I loved Akatar, and I still do love Akatar, and I love Throne of Glass. So, I don't know if I can pick a favorite between the two. Yeah, I, I don't think I can, and I'm honestly, I'm not going to force myself to pick a favorite because that would be cruel to myself, and I don't want to do that to myself. <laughs> so yeah anyway that concludes this reading vlog it'll be fun to see kind of my reactions as like from the beginning to the end just because I the beginning feels like so long ago even though it was only a month ago so yeah I hope you guys liked this video I don't know if there's any other series I can do videos like this for but I hope you guys liked this video, and I will see you guys somewhere else on the internet super soon. Bye!